Uh, Bernard, I want to have a word with you about Professor Marriott's article. Yes, I think it's about time we reform local government. Do you, Bernard? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think I did. <laughs> uh, that is, I'm not wholly against it. <laughs> Although there are many uh, convincing, uh, some might say conclusive, arguments against it. Some might indeed, Bernard. <laughs> yes. Why? Because, Bernard, once you create genuinely democratic local communities, it won't stop there. Won't it? Well, of course it won't. You see, once they get established, they'll insist on more power. And the politicians will be too frightened to withhold them, so you'll get regional government. Uh, would that matter? Bernard's going to sit down. <laughs> Bernard, what happens at the moment if there is some vacant land in, say, Nottingham, and there are rival proposals for its use, you know, a hospital, a college, or an airport? Well, we set up an interdepartmental committee, Department of Health, Department of Education, Department of Transport, Treasury, Environment, ask for papers, hold meetings, propose, discuss, revise, report back, redraft, normal thing. Precisely. Months of fruitful work. <laughs> Leading to a mature and responsible conclusion. But if you have regional government, they decide it all in Nottingham. Probably in a couple of meetings, complete amateurs. <laughs> it is their city. And what happens to us? Well, much less work. Yes, much less work. So little that ministers might almost be able to do it on their own. So we'd have much less power. Well, I don't know whether I really want power. Bernard, if the right people don't have power, do you know what happens? The wrong people get it. <laughs> Politicians, councillors, ordinary voters. But aren't they supposed to in a democracy? This is a British democracy, Bernard. <laughs> How do you mean? British democracy recognises that you need a system to protect the important things of life and keep them out of the hands of the barbarians. <laughs> things like the opera. <laughs> Radio 3. <laughs> the countryside. The law. The universities. Both of them. <laughs> and we are that system. Gosh, 